ArcGIS Pro Intelligence, or Pro Intel for short, is designed specifically for the needs of intelligence workflows and supports spatial, relational, and temporal analysis across a wide variety of data formats. In the next few minutes, you'll become familiar with the main components of the Pro Intel interface. When you launch Pro Intel, this is your start page. If this is your first time launching Pro Intel, you can get started by browsing to an existing project in the lower left or by choosing a new template in the upper left. The carousel in the center allows you to choose from recent projects you can click on to open. And finally, in the upper right, you can choose a custom project template for your specific workflow. We'll choose a project in the carousel to open it. Pro Intel is a modern ribbon-based application that presents tools and functionality when you need them and hides it when you don't. In this project, I have a map with multiple data layers displayed on top of a base map, so my default active tab is the Map tab, but I have other types of views as well. Below the Map tab is a timeline along which I have displayed the 2020 gun-based homicides in my data set. I also have a view of a link chart I activate by clicking on the tab. The link chart may be used in a workflow to identify which one of the closest shot spotter locations registered potential gunshots at around the time of the crimes. Notice that when I switch from the map view to the link chart, my ribbon changes, showing the tools that would apply to the link chart. Let's switch back to the map tab and take a look at some additional elements in my interface. On the left-hand side, I see my contents pane. This pane lists the data layers that I have added to my map, and they are currently listed in drawing order. The layers draw from the bottom of the pane to the top, so the topmost layer is the homicide layer. Layers can be reordered if needed by simply dragging and dropping them to a new location within the contents pane. Moving to the right-hand side of the interface, I see another pane called the catalog pane. This pane is important for organizing the content of my Pro Intel project and for searching and accessing data that I want to work with. If I expand the Maps folder, I will see all the maps that are part of this Pro Intel project. Each project automatically has its own toolbox and database created. When I expand folders, I can see all the folder connections created for this project. Besides the default folder created at the time this project was created, I have connected two other folders to this project to have a quick link to content found at these locations. The catalog pane also helps me search my current portal for content, whether it be content that I published, that members of my portal published, content shared by Living Atlas, and content shared by others through ArcGIS. Other actions in Pro Intel will produce other panes. For example, if I am interested in running an analytical tool such as a buffer, I would switch to my analysis tab, launch the toolbox, and now you see that a geoprocessing pane is active. I can choose a tool from my recent work or search by keyword. To customize your view into Pro Intel, any of the panes can be docked and undocked, moved and collapsed until needed. This gives you additional room in your tabs to increase the amount of viewable area. And that was a quick tour of the Pro Intel interface.